sure number? Five? Five. 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 Wow. First time in Queens, where was I? We learned last week in the halal, in the in this speck, in this void, Rabbi Abraham, that Hakadosh Baruch Hu made the emptiness, and we we explained that this emptiness is really just an illusion, and we have to uncover this illusion, right? Right. He created two forces, two forces, two systems called the Igulim, the circular world, and the Yosher, the straight, world. the straight world. What's the difference? The Igulim work every sphera, every sphere, which there are ten, they're one in another. That means Keter is the outermost, inside of it would have been, is, Chochma, correct? Bina, Chesed, Gibura, Tiferet, right? There's two of them. Right, so that's called the system inside this halal, inside this halal, inside this void, Rabbi Avraham, there is a circular, and we explain, according to the Kabbalah, according to the Ariya Kadosh, that the circular worlds are connected very much to the females of this world, right? They're connected to the females, Circular, right? Like the Gemara says in Masechet Yebamot, a man without a wife is like a man without a, a is like a city without a wall. What does that mean? A city without a wall, a wall that surrounds him and protects him. Now inside this, now we said that we don't talk about the circular world. It's not our subject. We are men. We deal with the straight worlds called Olam Hayosher. How do they work? They're not circular, but in, let's say this whole thing is the Chalal, the void. This would be Keter, Chochma, Bina, Chesed, Gibura, Tiferet, Netzach, Hod, Yesod, and Malchut. So inside all these circles, breaking into them, Filling them are the straight worlds. Those are lines that always we see. Correct. And you could, like the rabbi always says in his shiurim, the three columns, right? Go ahead, go ahead. So the three columns, right? There are three columns. Now, rabbi, a question to you. How can you say who doesn't deal with the circle? We don't deal with Olama Igulim in the Torah Ta'ari. The Ta'ari says over here, she ko- I'm, I'm going to read it to you he inside. The Kimat, Shekol Sefer Hazoar, Kimat, Vatikunim, Eino Medaber, Ela Baze Ayosher. All the Zoar and the Tikunim only talks about the world. I mean, our study. What I meant was our study is only about the straight worlds. Had Hashem Asata Adam. Yes. You remember. Hashem made the man. Yes, straight. No, that's true. When we do mitzvot and asim tovim, we also affect the circular world. True, amen. Yes, yeah, excuse me. But I'm just saying that our study is only about the straight world. Now we're going to start our limud. We're all together. How yes? The kav, works in, in that way? the kav breaks through the middle of this. The it's middle and it splits out. It's, it's ha'ara, right? It's ha'ara. Splits out to the other sefirot. Okay, don't forget the kav is dak shebedakim. It's the yichida of all the olamot. It's almost unaccessible. Our, by the way, just let you know one thing. It's good that you mention this. We're almost by Hanukkah. When you light the Nerot Hanukkah, the Nerot Hanukkah is you're gonna get very close to the light that was mitpashet between the orot kruvim. The two cherubs. Mm-hmm. So the Nerot Hanukkah are very connected to the light that's mitpashet, which is the Harata and Sof, which is the Kav. So that's why they say, so, I know, I, one Talmud Chacham, Shem should forgive him, said to me, such a waste of time to look at the Nerot Hanukkah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you waste your time? Uh, I'm, I'm making my time. Uh, you you want to learn Torah? You think you're doing something? When you... Hanukkah is Hanukkah. Like the Baba Sali said, there's a time to learn. There's a lot of time to pray, there's time to do mitzvot. Hanukkah is a very, very 
powerful time. And that's why we pray for our kids during that time. You never find any holiday where the Chachamim say to pray for your kids. You don't, okay? And it's all about the oil. Oil, Shemen Zayit, is the power of Abba. We're going to learn, right? There's a system called Abba, part Suf called Abba, right? Remember we learned last week? Abba, There's five Ima. systems, Arich, Abba, Ve'ima, Ve'zun. Yefemel. Okay, now let's let's go back. The bottom of page Dalet, Ve'dai, no. Ki bazea atzilut, in this creation, Yesh mine olamot le'enkets. The truth is, in this void, there is, huh? We did this. Okay, we're just going to go over with this last paragraph. Yesh olamot le'enkets, ve'en ata bevi'uram. We're not delving into them. That means there are worlds above this igulim and yosher in the sense of the systems, right? Because we said the first system is ak. Remember we said last week? Right, Ak Adam Kadmon. We don't say his name. We just from now on, we're just gonna say what Ak. Ak. So really, above Ak is many, many other worlds, and you're never gonna hear me talking about them again. I'm just gonna mention some of them by name: Tehiru the Tehiru the Avira, uh, Avir Kadmon. There's many. There's a couple of worlds above it. When Mashiach comes, Rezot Hashem, whoever didn't learn Otzrot Hayim till Mashiach come will have to learn Otzrot Hayim. Whoever already learned it will be zocheh to already learn about the world above it. Okay? And we were able to be zocheh to those kavanot. Huh? Vaiter. Aval nitachil leva'er ata prat echad asheru kolel kol ha-metzius ha-chalal hazeh. We're going to start talking about, look inside our botai page, hey, top line. We're going to start talking about the one being, the one creation that fills this whole void. From him spreads out at like like branches from a tree, all the other olamot. And these, the first ten sefiro, the first system we're allowed to talk about, the first world we're allowed to talk about is called Ak. Very high level world. Don't ever read its name like that. Because when you speak about a world, you're moving it in Shamayim. And if you move it when you're not worthy to move it, it's not good. Because in Shamayim, they say, who is this guy? Because in Shamayim, everything you do is under scrutiny. Now, all you guys here are learning Kabbalah right now. You guys are the cream of the crop. What is the cream of the crop? The best of the best. You guys are Hashem's CIA. Not Green Beret. CIA. You're the, you're the best. So you have to be very careful what you say. From now on, we're just going to call it Ak. Okay? Is that the real name of what you mentioned? No, the real name is Adam Kadamon. Yeah, cool. yeah. But we call it Ak. Okay? <laughs> and this world is already written, Rabbi Daniel, inside the Zohar and the Tikunim. So it's not like Eliyahu and Avi said it to the Ariya Kadosh. It's written by Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. And after him, after Ak, that means out of Ak will come out the rest of the worlds, which are Atzilut, Bria, Yetzira, and Asiya. Okay, so Atzilut, Bria, Yetzira, Asiya is just basically the clothing of Ak. Think of Ak as the goof. And atzilut is the levush, correct. And you wear, you don't just wear a shirt, right? You wear an undergarment, then you wear a shirt, then you wear a vest, then you wear a suit, right? So there's levels, lahavdil, lahavdil, right? Of how many can you go? How far can you go? We go up to four, right? How? It's hinted in our matriarchs. Rachel, Leah, Bilha, Zilpa, Reshet, Tevot, Barzel. They're our, they're our... Stone wall or four matriarchs of Yaakov Avinu. It's also from Pasuk. Huh? With the Lechwadi Barati Could be, could be. It's, it's a Pasuk actually in one of the Halalukas where they get this from. Right? Da. In this void, Kadmon. This world that's called Kadmon. Why is it called Kadmon? It's primordial. It's, the, it's, it's before the first. Okay? Because we're always working in the world of Atzilut. 
Atzilut really only starts from the Tiferet of Ak. Okay? Mm. And it's 10 Tiferot. So this, this board is not 3D. So I can't really draw it. So imagine surrounding this Ak. Yo. Surrounding Ak is another 10 Sefirot in a straight line called Atzilut. And Atzilut only starts from where? Tiferet Ak. Okay? Tabur. So, the Tabur, correct. So, the Ari never says Tiferet because it's such a, it's not a nice Lashon, right? Don't get uh, exasperated by our guest. So, Ak has 10 Sefirot. Keter. I'm going to write it down so you guys could remember. Keter. Chochma. Bina. Chesed. Gevura. This is Tifer, that's, that's our father Yaakov. Netzach, Hod, Yesod, and Mama Rachel, Malchut. Okay? Ak has how many Sefirot? Ten Sefirot. Vehem mimaleot et kol achan Ak it's such a big system, it's such a big world, Rabbi Ariel. Ak is such a big world, it fills the whole void. From the beginning of the void till the end of the void of the halal, it fills it. That's how big it is. So where the other worlds fit, fit in this? They don't, when I say they fill it, it means he starts from the top and he, and he goes all the way till the end. Not that he fits it in width, ah, ah, but in length. Ah, okay. That's what I mean. Ah, all the worlds are with labesh in them. Yes. In length and in width. But you have to understand that Ak, in your share, he starts from the top and ends at the end. And we, Rabotai, will never, ever have any cut correct that's 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 ak that's in your share ak correct in the picture we as jewish people will never have any kavanot page hey dealing with this world only when we eat food what does that mean? go back Can you go that back to me? Wait. that means Shh. as jewish people you have to know how to move these worlds right the more you move them to the good the more bracha you get in your life, and the faster you bring Mashiach. And how you That's your them. mission in life. And how you move them, Sadiq? How you move them by doing... The lowest way the is just by doing the mitzvot. Uh -huh. The so. highest way is by thinking while I'm doing the mitzvot. The highest way is while you're thinking while I'm doing the mitzvot, you know how they connect to the names of God. Come on. Oh. Come on. Wow, that's crazy. You follow the message. Yes. And the, the job of this shiur is to make you guys masters on that too. That's why I'm here. So what, what did you say about the food? So the only time we're going to deal with ak okay. in kavanot food. is in food. When you're chewing food, actually. Mm -hmm. And that's actually, I'm going to mention this because I say food in deep English. inside of me, I have a little bit of a chassid. Oh. Oh. Okay. Inside of me. The Mithil Rebbe says in one of his, in his famous vorts on Hanukkah, he says the lower something is in this world, the more materialistic it is, the higher its sources is in heaven. Did you get that? Well, so what's right. the most animalistic thing that a human being does? Eat. He eats. Sleep. And what's the highest kavanah that a person could do? Ak. Uh, so the, the lower something is. So when you eat food, that's why the Ari Kador says he got all of his Ruach HaKodesh. When he when he Kavanaugh. When he was doing Kavanaugh, he was eating food. <laughs> that's, hard. that's hard. That's deep, right? That's so the highest four. is what food? You're, eating, you're enjoying you yourself. You know? The highest is food? The yeah. highest Kavanaugh is in food, yeah. Not in prayer? No. The highest you get in prayer is in Shema Yisrael. When you say Shema Yisrael, Hashem, Shem Echad, you reach a very high level. Also, when you say Sim Shalom, mm -hmm. right? At the end of Shemona Yisrael. Yeah. But, Linyan yeah. yeah. Uh, Kavanot, you guys have a long time to get. No, no, but I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, and food, so, food. Right. So when you eat food, next time, just think while you're eating food that I'm reaching a very, the highest of all levels. Okay? While you're chewing the food, we'll get there. Maybe we'll talk about it when we actually get to that point. He's going to mention it a little bit much, a couple of chapters in. First, Ak came out in 10 circular spheres. 
like we said last week, אלו בתוך אלו, and then אחר כך בתוך העיגולים נמשך דרך קו היושר ציור אדם אחד בעשר ספירות באורך, כל העיגולים הנזכרים כציור הזה, and then inside the ten circular spheres, חדר חוכמה, בינה, חסק וזה, came these ten ספירות breaking through them, okay? I wish I could have a certain uh, thing to show you a nice picture, but unfortunately I don't have it. Don't try to use your imagination because it's not important. Okay? Then anu oskim. We're not dealing with this. Be igulim. We're not talking about igulim, guys. T- forget about the circular worlds. Forget about them. Forget they don't exist to you. That's the straight worlds. Okay? Rabbi Yochanan Yosher Levad. Valalan mitziut igulim. Veishar mayan. Turn the page, Rabbi Yisai. Veine. Behold. Al yedei atzimtzum azeh. By the tzimtzum, the first tzimtzum, the first constriction. Right? Before you could reveal a light, you, you must first constrict yourself. That means anybody who makes easy money, you know he's going to lose it at the end. Whenever a person works hard for his money, you know he's going to keep it at the end. That's the same thing with the Tzim Tzum. What's Tzim Tzum? To, cons- to reveal a light, you must constrict it first. Okay? When this first world was created, היה בו בחינת עצמות וכלים. אוקיי, גאלה, אקספליין טיו, מה זה עצמות וכלים? עצמות וכלים? אברי עולם. מה זה עולם? עולם. עצמות זה נשמה. And kelim. What's kelim? Vessels. In our vernacular, that would mean the human body. In the upper world, it's called Eser Sfirot. Ak, Eser Sfirot, the ten spheres. Eser Sfirot, as the Ben Ishchai says in Old Yosef Chai, is not Hashem Chas V'Shalom. God forbid, it's saying that it even leads to Kfira Chas V'Shalom. The ten worlds are just of you, no? Is that is it's a human sense? Yeah. It's you. Yeah. You are made in the image right. of those ten vessels, and those ten vessels are just ten ways that God represents himself. Bottled ten bottled up energies that God represents himself in this world. Bottled nothing up. more, nothing less. nothing less. Only ten. There's only ten. The Satan likes to make it eleven. Eleven. The, the Satan's number is eleven. So but like, the Chinese... What's their favorite number? Eight. Eleven. Is it eight? Yeah, it's eleven. It's not eight. Their lucky number is eleven. Eight. Wow. Yeah. That's They're not lucky. Why? They're the biggest of so their avodah. That's why we over here in our shul, we only eat Chinese food. Food, because why? We're metakin. <laughs> 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 it's okay. <laughs> Something you understand. I hope it's not going to fix that. Huh? <laughs> no, we're going to fix him. Don't worry. Okay? Don't worry. okay? You're when you're learning Torah after you eat, it's the biggest tikkun that you can make. Kit sim sum. So what happens? So, so yeah, we're 10. We're 10. How many fingers you got? 10. Uh, legs? 10. We are 10. Wow. There are 10 brachot and ve'iten lecha, by the way. You got that later. Okay. Kit sim sum ha'or, the constriction of the orange sof, Garam Asiyad Vavet Kelim. The constriction itself created the vessel. That means from the light. When let's say you take water and I spill it out of the cup, the leftover water, there's always a couple of drops left in the cup, that's the vessel. Do you understand the difference between the vessel and the actual light now? It drops. A drop versus a cup. Okay? The Tim Tsum. The constriction created the vessel. This is such a pshat, I'm telling you. If you're not going to have tzimtzum in your life, you're not going to be able to have a vessel to get bracha. If you're not going to be able to be a little bit of givura, if you're not going to be able to say in your life, no, you're never going to have bracha. Uh, that's what I was saying in my first shiur. This is the connection with Hanukkah. You have to learn how to say no. The Jewish people introduced into this world the word no. Okay? You have to know how to put a border, a boundary to what you do in life. That's the Tzim Tzum. The Tzim Tzum made the Kli. It's a very big, it's, it's, it's deep. This is deep. Chassidus has a whole thing on this. And it's deep. Okay? 
כמו שנביא אל לקמן בעזרת האל, אנחנו נלמד על הקריאה של 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 הקריאה Yeah, we're done. We can't. We too can't. much. Ak is too much of a high world. Yes. We can't talk about. That's it. like the. We're right. not holy enough to talk so about it. So what world do we live in now? Asiya. Oh well, we got, we got time to get there. Oh, okay. okay. But when you pray, you're moving at Silut. I see. So, so this world, That's, so this world is basically the original form of whatever. Ak, Ak is a sh- Ak is the tree. So he's the original form the of Hashem. Is Hashem's creation? Ash, is yeah, it's the, it's this, the creation. This is what we call like. Yeah. Down. Our so Adam Harishon was supposed to represent this world. Right. He was supposed to, but unfortunately, he messed up big time. And you know what? Adam Harishon is still a bigger tzaddik than everybody who ever Amen. lived, even with all of his messing up. Let's not talk about it. Next. The maskil yavin reishit avam mecharito. The smart man will understand. This world from what we're going to learn in the future. That means sometimes you could understand the beginning from the end. Okay? So it's not our conversation now. We're still beginners. You see, even the Marchu talks, how did he talk? Be'ezrat Hashem. Amnam. However, in the world of Ak, its vessel is not, you can't really call it a vessel. It's such a high world. You can't actually call his vessels vessels. Why? Mm-hmm. It's only in comparison to his light. soul, to his light, it's called a vessel. But in comparison to us, the vessels of Ak, the, the Kelim, oh, it's Nishama al Nishama. It's Yechida. Okay? That's why no, no human being has ever reached Yechida. He, he's, supposed, he's, he's supposed to reach it. Amen. Nahon. But by the way, when he's going to reveal himself as Mashiach, You know how he's going to reach Yechida? I'm going to just tell you a chidush I had once upon a time. When Mashiach is going to reveal himself as Mashiach, he's only going to have Chaya. Atzilut. How is he going to reach Yechida? He's going to suddenly see Bukharians, Persians, Tunisayim, Hasidim, uh, Ashkenah. He's like, how am I going to bring all these dudes together? Hmm. When he's going to be able to do that, that's when he's going to get his Yechida. That was my chidush. That's good. Long time ago I had his Yechida. You took it out of me. Call it out. Amnam. Eino kli mamash. It's not. Yesh echa osh to gemet nikra kli. Amnam. Who zachu bayir. The vessels of Ak is so zach. You know what zach is? No. It's bright. It's clean. Like oil, the oil of the Kohen Gadol. Clean. Right? Yeah, it's clean. Zach is pure. pure. Zach is pure. But here is shining. Betachlit ha bayirut in the in the greatest shining. It's so. It's it's bayir. It's, you, it's almost like our neshama. Yes. Not even close. <laughs> You're very. I, every Jew that ever lived has never reached the level of Ak. No, but you don't talk I know what you're talking about. You, what you see when you die is the Shekhinah. That's the Malchut of Atzilut. Don't no. bring rabbis' names inside of this because, uh, you know... If Moshe Rabbeinu didn't hit it, nobody didn't hit it. Okay. Simple. God bless you. God bless you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. So, when you pass away, if you're a tzaddik, by the way, if you're a tzaddik, you might see the malchut of atzilut. Wow, that's dangerous. All right? For a minute. But trust me, you're not going to see it, okay? I'm in Sela, okay? You're not going to see any light, okay? The best you're going to... The Amoraim saw the Son of Man. The rabbis wrote the Gemara, and they saw the Son of Man, okay? You're not going to see no Shechina, okay? Tiraga, you're very far. If, if, if our generation brings Mashiach, you'll see much more than that. You'll see much more than that. Last paragraph. Let's finish the paragraph. Tonight we're going to finish paragraph Aleph. He stretches at length from the beginning of the void until the end of the void. Who could tell me very fast parasha questions and answers? What other thing in the Torah says? Nice try. But what it says, Mav- the ladder went from Be'er Sheva until Yerushalayim. What does it say in the Torah? Mavriach min hakatzeh el hakatzeh. 
It stretches from one end to the one end. Very nice, the Mishkan. Very good, the Mishkan. Now you know what the Beit Hamikdash is. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not it's I told the boys in my class today. I had one Georgian kid in my class today. I like him very much. I said to him, I said to him, why you want Mashiach to come? He has a he has a key pose. I want Mashiach to come. Okay, why you want Mashiach to come? He said, I want to kiss his hands. Is it crazy? You have to want the Beit Hamikdash. That's your problem. You, you, you see Hashem's Not coming. Mashiach. Don't want Mashiach. Want the Beit Hamikdash. You're already Mashiach. We're already in Mashiach. Exactly. We're in Mashiach. Adam In this man, In this Adam, in this, in this, Adam, in this world, Ak is is this is the root of Atzilut, Biria, Yitzira, Asiya. All the four worlds. Atzilut, are the four worlds we always deal with. Yeah, right. Ak. Is the is the stump? Let's say the tree and the video is the stump. He's the root. La is the root. He's the seed, right? Actually, that's even better than the stump. The seed, right? He's the he's, he's, he's the he's the root of every. In him is all the potential of all the alamot in this world. Okay. Dari says, be careful about Ak. The Ak, about Ak, the world of Ak. Let's draw it again. Keter, Chokma, Bina, Chayset, Gevura, Tiferet, Netzach, Chod, Yesod, Malchut. What fills it? The Kav that mm-hmm. fills it. You're not allowed to talk about it. That's off limits. Because it's the highest potential. It's the energy. highest, yeah, it's the highest potential. You can never reach God in that level. No prophet has ever reached that either. Even Moses. So we're either on the left at all. So we're on the either left yeah. side or the right side. Yeah, we're we're all we're we're, we're in Atzilut. Right? We're in Atzilut. We're not even now. You cannot reach the 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 neshama of Ak, the atzmuto of Ak. You can never reach it. Even why? when Mashiach comes, you why? won't reach why? it. Why? Because it's like you can never know Hashem because you're finite. Even when Tchet Amitim will be, even when the resurrection of the will be, I can't sit with the king. You can never understand the king. I'm about to sit with the king. You can sit with him. Um, I'd rather sit with the king. Okay. It's hard to understand yeah. the king. You can never, you can never, you can never understand the Atzuchas Shalom. I'm telling you guys one now, or, or I'm telling you right now. This is where the Yira. You guys want to have Yirat Shamayim? This is the this is the line in the in the Ostra. This is the Yirat Shamayim right here. You will never ever be able to comprehend the Kodesh Baruch Hu, and that's the beauty of it because no matter in what state you'll be you'll always be finite you're always limited and our Kodesh Baruch Hu is, and you know what Hashem right now is looking down on Hashem and he's laughing and he's saying those these Bukharians down here are learning me and you know so they're trying to figure me out and I love them so much and all of you guys are here you guys are bringing Mashiach right now. You guys are. I just got chills. Okay, I you got it too. We're <laughs> together, are we? We're part of Hashem, so therefore we should somehow kind of understand. We can't. But That's so. Yeah, we're part of Hashem because this our the the soul. Well, just the shock of him. You know, when you get a shock when you're in the hospital, you're, you're not the actual. The battery. soul, the soul of the biggest Russia is on a higher level than the body of the biggest tzaddik. Uh, the soul is a soul, but. At the end of the day, binish bati nu mashem levarai giliti lelibi lelibi giliti levarai look. You can never know atzmuto. It's just impossible because Hakadosh Baruch Hu, God, who chose us to be His children, we're just we're just a kli, and we could get very close. And that's what this whole limud is about: is to get to ruach hakodesh. We need to get to that level, but we're very far. But we're starting. Some people fall off the ladder, some people stay on the ladder, but we got to get to at least, and you know what? Some people get, some people, their souls are more pure, they're more zach, and sometimes they might get a, a shock from HaKadosh Baruch Hu right away. You know, Hashem is in our lives every way. The only question is, can you reveal Him? Could you recognize it? Because, like we said, the whole halal is an illusion. What does that mean to recognize? Can you you have to recognize. What does that mean? Recognize? You have to under. You have to understand how Kadosh Baruch Hu and everything you do, it's not a coincidence, and you have to figure out how it's not a coincidence. That means you're looking at me right now. You have to get the, even that's not a coincidence. The way the way you look, the way you did, the way, the book oh, you every, oh, you're everywhere. everywhere. The basic every everything that every your action. The leaf that fell off the tree it has to do with that. Yeah. I'm insane. Okay, <laughs> 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 
since the light of the end stuff is so great, God had to create a filter. Ak, the world of Ak, how great it is, is just filter. a filter. That we could accept the light of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Okay? Even from Ak, it's, it's only a filter, even from him we can accept the light. So wait, wait. So Ak, so Ak, is Ak, acting, Ak is acting as a filter. As a filter, yeah. All so the world. So it'll, it'll for, who? for who? For who, Daniel? For us. For you. Right, so it'll filter down more. It'll Amazing, dumb it down more. yeah. Is uh-huh. it, uh, Ak is the first filter. I see. That means, he, even though he's a filter, but it's the first one. And even from there, you can't. You can't accept the aura and so it's so big. Right, he says, Because even it's kli be'er keinu ze or. Okay, it's it's a great olam, you understand? Yeah, le'havdil. The only way you could perceive ak, ak, the world of ak, from ak will come out branches. Yeah, the light that goes through Ak, every light has a pnimiyut, an inner, and a chitzoniyut, the outer. The outer light inside of Ak will come out of Ak from its windows. Every world has a window. Lahavdil, a human body has windows. What are your windows? Eyes, ears, ears, ears. Very beautiful, very nice. See, these are all windows. These are all windows. Is it? From Ak, Lahavdil, Elif Havdalot will come out lights from his windows, and those windows will are will be our limud. Not Ak. That's why you're created with these windows. Okay, God created you with eyes with windows for a reason. Okay. Shema Oznaim, the ears. The inaim, the eyes, chotem, the nose, hape, the mouth, like we will learn to in the coming shirim, baruch Adonai le'olam, amen, amen.